Welcome back. Today, I am going to cover regarding joint lubrication. Started off with an introduction. The types of lubrication that involve A. Boundary lubrication, example, synovial fluid. B. Fluid film lubrication. 1. Hydrodynamic mechanism. 2. Squeeze film mechanism. Enhancements of fluid film lubrication through A. Elastohydrodynamic B. Boosted And lastly, regarding a normal joint motion As an introduction, the difference of human joints from bearings in engineering is it is operated in low sliding speed. It is expected to last a lifetime. Tribology, the signs of rubbing surfaces. As on surface slides over another, the movement is restricted by frictional force. Lubricants decrease the frictional force and produce a smooth movement. Reduces the wear and tear of bearing surfaces by interposing a substance that keeps them apart. Types of lubrication of joint can be divided into A. Boundary lubrication B. Fluid film lubrication For A. Boundary lubrication Depends on chemical property of lubricant. For synovial fluid, adsorb to each articular surface. It prevents direct surface to surface contact. For synovial fluid, it presents in very small quantities in normal synovial joints. It has two functions, A as lubrication or act as a lubricant for joint surfaces, lubricin for boundary cartilage to cartilage lubrication, and hyaluronate for synovium on synovium lubrication, and B as a nutrition. It acts as a source of nourishment for the avascular articular cartilage. Synovial fluid also contributes to joint stability by forming a hydraulic adhesive seal between the two articulating bones. This image shows the knee joint with synovial fluid in between the two bones. Synovial fluid is a combination of a filtrate of plasma that enters the joint space from the subsynovial capillaries and hyaluronic acid, which is secreted by the synovial sites. Hyaluron hyaluronic acid provides the high viscosity of synovial fluid and with water, its lubricating properties. Absent from the synovial fluid are elements of the coagulation pathway, fibrinogen, prothrombin, factors 5 and 7, tissue, thromboplastin, and antithrombin. As a result, normal synovial fluid is resistant to clotting. B. In field film lubrication, it depends on viscosity of fluid. Field film completely separates the surfaces. There are two types of mechanism occur when the joint is loaded. One, Hydrodynamic to 
squeeze film. As illustrated, this shows types of lubrication of joints. A is boundary lubrication. B shows full fluid film lubrication. And C shows a mixed lubrication between boundary and fluid film lubrication. In fluid film lubrication, one, hydrodynamic mechanism occurs when two non-parallel surfaces move tangentially on each other. Fluid forms into converging wedge of fluid. Lift the bearing surfaces apart. Motion of the surfaces drags the fluid into the gap between the surfaces. This picture illustrates the hydrodynamic fluid movement during pressurization. It is akin to birds or jets, whereby the movement of air occur beneath the wings. Two, in squeeze film mechanism, it occurs when surfaces move perpendicular to each other. There is a tendency to squeeze liquid film out, but is resisted by the viscosity of fluid. In a very high fluid pressure generated, it can support the heavy loads transiently, but eventually, the film becomes thin and finally, contact between the surface occurs. This picture illustrates the cartilage rehydration. By loading induced exsudation, the fluid extravasated out the surrounding area. And in sliding induced rehydration, the fluid exsudation is coupled with fluid rehydration through the movement of the interstitial fluid. In enhancement of fluid film lubrication, it involves two mechanisms. A. Elastohydrodynamic B. Boosted mechanism In A. Elastohydrodynamic It occurs both in hydrodynamic and squeeze film mechanism. It occurs when the surfaces are not rigid or when the surfaces get deformed under load. The deformation increases the surface contact area. It also prevents the escape of lubricating fluid. For B, boosted mechanism, it occurs in squeeze film mechanism and sliding loads. It depends on the ability of the solvent of synovial fluid to pass into articular cartilage in perpendicular motion. The decrease in solvent component increases the hyaluronic acid protein complex concentration, increases the viscosity, boosts the lubrication. As the load increases, fluid gets trapped between the asperities on surface, progressively becomes more vicious by boosting mechanism. We are nearing the end of our video. In normal joint motion, there is four phase. Number one, the swing phase. Two, stun phase. Three, motion starts. And four, cycle. In one swing phase, during slight loading, the synovial fluid are drawn in between the surfaces. 
This picture illustrates the normal gait cycle and the involvement of each joint, the hip, the red dot, the knee, the green dot, the ankle, the yellow dot, and the metatarsophalangeal joint of the foot, the blue dot, during each stun phase that consists 60% of gait cycle and the swing phase that consists of 40% of the gait cycle. Okay, everyone. Number two, in stance phase and in the case of severe loading. There is boundary lubrication, fluid film maintained by squeeze film. Number three, in motion starts, there is combination of boundary and fluid film lubrication. As the speed increases, the film enhanced by elasto-hydrodynamic mechanism. As movement slows down, squeeze film mechanism operates. And number four, cycle phase. There will be a boundary lubrication to squeeze lubrication to elasto-hydrodynamic, then to squeeze film, then boundary lubrication again. Exudation of fluid from cartilage surface when it gets deformed are called whipping lubrication. Trapping of fluid in the undulations of cartilage to enhance lubrication, then the trap lubrication, increasing the concentration of fluid that leads to boosted lubrication. In a replaced joints, there is an ineffective squeeze film mechanism due to hard material of surfaces, limited surface area. Boundary lubrication are seen more. After total knee replacement, synovial fluid quantity would be small. Yay! We have reached to the end of this video. See you in the next one. Take care and bye.